Hello, my dear students. Welcome you all to the botany classes. In the previous classes, we have been discussing about the nomenclature and other concepts in a taxonomy and a systematics. In today's class, we shall discuss about the botanical gardens. Okay, so as the name itself indicate, botany, botanical about plants. and of course the garden place where the plants are grown we shall see what is botanical garden how it is managed how it is controlled etc firstly what is an what is a botanical garden botanical garden also called botanic garden originally it's a collection of living plants designed chiefly to illustrate relationship within plant groups okay means it's a place where various types of plants are grown many types of uh, plants are uh, grown and here it may be a collection in its own right or a part of botanical garden means uh, there is no fixed rule for uh, framing the botanical garden but uh, uh, one organization one body can make uh, its own uh, botanical garden secondly what is the function of botanical garden here is a botanical garden is a controlled and staffed institution for the maintenance of a living collection of plants under scientific management means many plants are grown and those plants are controlled and managed by some of the staff okay that to a scientific management for the purpose of education research together with uh, such libraries herbaria laboratories and museum means for the study purpose or uh, research purpose uh, the botanical garden may have to maintain the library they may have to maintain herbarium they may have to maintain laboratories and museums and uh, since uh, as they are essential to particular undertakings means uh, along with growing a garden one must uh, grow one must one must run the libraries herbaria laboratories museum etc in the botanical garden then only it will be a meaningful and useful for the scientific community then what is the difference between arboretum and a botanical garden simple difference is in case of arboretum usually the tree species are grown the woody plants are grown okay but in botanical garden all types of plants are grown maybe a herb maybe shrub maybe a climber maybe a liana any type of plants are grown by making various landscape there is no fixed uh, rule means fixed plant type for growing for making a botanical garden usually any type of plant can be grown in a botanical garden then how much is the botanical garden cost for garden visitors simply it depends upon the management if it is government controlled it may be a free visit but if it is artificially controlled or by some of the management or government management they may charge some of the rupees as per the management okay you can see in the diagram lal bag botanical garden bangalore okay which is the largest botanical garden in the world so all of you know that kew garden is the world's largest collection of uh, living plants how is the botanical garden useful for uh, scientists simply here whenever you have one plant in the nature already existed a plant and when you found new plant of the same type having some similarities uh, then you can study those two plants in comparison okay maybe by growing in botanical garden maybe in zoological park etc it will help in a comparative study of uh, two different plants of the same type also it will help in conservation of uh, those endangered and extinct plants also to keep record also to keep the record or the data of uh, living plants extinct plants or endangered plants right like that 
these are very much useful here one more question is there is an arboretum like garden question is arboretum is same as set of garden or different an arboretum in general sense is a botanical garden composed of exclusively made of trees trees as we discussed earlier in arboretum usually tree species are grown more commonly a modern arboretum is a botanical garden containing living collection of woody plants means larger trees and is uh, intended at least in part of scientific study means in arboretum usually only conservation is focused but there is no focus on a scientific study but in a botanical garden a scientific study is promoted by growing uh, by displaying the names of the plant uh, botanical names uh, families of the plant etc the scientific study will be promoted in botanical garden okay here uh, we have some uh, types of uh, plants grown in uh, botanical gardens means uh, as per various geographical conditions the climate also varies so in those respective climates uh, different types of plants will be grown here first one cacti and succulents plants will be grown herb gardens may be there greenhouse and shade houses will be there tropical plants will be there medicinal plants will be there aromatic or textile plants will be there also other exotic plants means which have uh, got uh, more economical importance uh, those plants will also be grown in botanical gardens right who is responsible for botanical gardens means which organization will manage the botanical gardens here the botanical gardens are often run by universities or other scientific research institutes uh, and often have associated with the herbaria and research programmers in plant taxonomy simply these gardens will be maintained by the school by the colleges or by the universities or some of the research organizations in various countries right next what is the importance of botanical gardens means why botanical gardens are useful for to man and nature firstly enjoyment of course we enjoy we need vacations holidays so for enjoying enjoying those holidays we go to park or gardens so enjoyment is the first main purpose of the making botanical gardens second one economic means various economic crops can be grown in a botanical gardens maybe the fruits will be collected and sold maybe the other plant parts will be collected and sold out from the botanical garden scientific research means by the comparative study of uh, various groups of plants in the same place in the same place uh, help in uh, studying the plants in a fixed place rather than traveling here and there uh, it's easy for the scientific community maybe the student maybe the lecturer uh, for uh, studying or comparative study then conservation maybe a plant is endangered maybe a plant is not getting uh, sufficient water or other resources such plant species will be grown in a botanical gardens by providing all those facilities artificially hence it is a, a form of access to conservation means we are providing all the required facilities artificially man made hence it is a meant for conservation climate change means the plants being autotrophic photosynthetic they increase the oxygen content in the atmosphere they increase the oxygen content in the atmosphere also they absorb all the carbon dioxide released by the vehicles or by the human beings right there are some botanical gardens in india we shall see one by one with their images first one empas garden pune second one lalbag 
botanical gardens in bangalore jawaharlal nehru botanical garden okay in trivandrum kerala the mysore zoo in mysore karnataka is also botanical garden means if they want to rear the animals of course they have to prepare those that forest area or artificial forest I mean of course it is a botanical garden then botanical garden of the department of applied botany at mangalore university karnataka then botanical garden near sharanpur chandigarh jansi botanical garden jansi uttar pradesh now okay we shall see some of the botanical gardens present outside india first one eden project established in 2000 in cornwall chicago botanic garden with a view of the zigzag bridge mexican hothos jordan this plant is london royal botanical garden q one of the largest gardens lake in the calcutta botanical garden a 16th century print of botanical garden of the pauda the oldest academic botanical garden that is still at original location this one botanical braunschweig garden germany so these are all the details about botanical gardens we shall see further concepts in next class till that keep learning bye bye